My name is Jody Bunting, and this is week number one for our brand new Slimmer, Diane, on our free six-week course. So everybody, meet Diane. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? You look very comfortable I'm, there. I am. I'm, I, I'm uh, got myself nice and comfortable. I've been to the gym today, so my legs and arms and everything is hurting, so... Oh, so you're resting up. So you had a bit of a strength workout, did you, today in the gym? Yeah, well, I did a bit of mixture. I'd done some on the cross trainer. I'd done 15 minutes on the cross trainer. I used to do the treadmill, but I don't like them. I hate them. Um, so um, I had a word with the PT, and he said, you can do the cross trainer, because I love the cross trainer. He's like, you can do that, you know. I was like, oh, that will do. And then I'd done like a lot of weights. I like picket doing weights. So I'd done a lot of weights, my arms, my legs and that. And then I'd done some on the bike. Now the cross trainer is a lot better than the treadmill because it takes a lot of pressure from your knees and your joints as well. So if you enjoy the cross trainer, definitely do that. I hate the treadmill. I hate the way you feel when you get off it. Do you know yeah. like when you're there, woozy, I, I don't. I suffer with <laughs> I suffer with vertigo, so going on the treadmill just makes me anxious. Yeah. So that's good so, then that you found something that you like. Yeah. So I've just been introducing you when I was introducing you on Facebook Live earlier, and I was obviously explaining how we know each other. And I saw yeah. you about, was it three years ago, four years ago? It was it, yeah, about four years, I think. Yeah, so you were on ITV on This Morning with Ruth and Eamon. I'm Tell everybody um, what you were doing. Well, uh, what it is, I suffer with anxiety and um, I couldn't get out of the house. So I started doing workouts in the house, like stepper, um, a little bit of Zumba, my own version, and um, doing um, bits and bobs around the house. And so I started, I'd done a live, I thought on my own Facebook, and I didn't, I actually put it out that everybody could do it. Because yeah. I didn't know to do the internet then. And everybody's like, oh, that's amazing. I can't get out. And can, you, can I do it with you? Well, I'm like, yeah. Can you make a group? I'm like, I don't know how to. Um, so I got my daughter to make me a group. And, and, and then um, a, a, what was called, a reporter contacted me and said, I've been following you for the last six months. I think you're amazing. Would you, would you go to this morning? And I thought that was just a hypothetical question. Would you go? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, but I was full of the flu. And I went, yeah. She went, well, can you be there by the morning? I was like, what? <laughs> I've never been to London. I was full yeah. of the flu. I'm on antibiotics. And can you go to London on your own? And I suffer with anxiety by nine o'clock in the morning. I'm like, yeah, guess. <laughs> so I threw myself on the train. <laughs> And then I got met on the other end and they took me to the hotel and they got me a taxi from the hotel to the this morning. So I was like locked after when I got there, but it just, yeah. And then I went on there and um, I was in the changing room and this woman was talking to me and I'm like, I've seen her somewhere because we were getting our makeup done together. And I'm like, yeah. do you know why I knew you face? And I was talking to Ruth. She was oh, getting her makeup oh. done when I was, she was so lovely. And then I went on, done my bit. And then when I was coming off, um, Shane Ritchie was going on. Oh, was and it? I was like, oh my God, that's Ritchie. I was like, oh my God. I was like, you should have seen, I was so bad. I was like, and then I was uh, Ryan Clark. He yeah. was there as well. And um, Shane Ritchie was doing Heat Magazine. Oh, great. And he needed something to pick, uh, like a, he, he wanted a piece of paper elder when he was doing it. And he went, yeah. will anybody, will anybody hold this piece of paper up in the, in the in room? And I was like, as long as you give me your autograph, then I will. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, he did then. He did, obviously. And I did do that. Um, then, yeah, I had lots of papers contacting me then when I came home. Yeah. But um I was aware you could get the wrong publicity. Yeah. Like I and I didn't want the wrong publicity. I had like a lot of channel five contacting me, like 
<laughs> would you do an overweight thing in the north and that? And I'm like, it's not about running overweight people down. It's yeah. not about taking the mickey out of people. It was about me trying to help other people and help myself. And the best thing about your Facebook group, it was called uh, Losing Weight with Diane, the scenic way, wasn't it? The scenic route, because I did do it the scenic route. I was yeah. like, I'd done it my own way. It took longer because of my illnesses, anxiety, I suffer with vertigo. Um, but I was still making slow progress. And I know at one point you were considering being a fitness instructor as well, weren't you? How's that going? Yeah. Um, well, it, 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 it was paused because um, I've got CPSD um, yeah. and dyslexia. And I went to the, my local college and I was gobsmacked. They even allowed me to go on the course. Oh. I was like, are you really? Because I went to my gym instructor. I was like, would you let a fat instructor work for you, even? Why? As long as you're good at what you do. He was like, yeah. yeah. I was like, so when I went to college, I went, why will you let me you all of them were thin and young and and he was like because if you've got the passion and you can actually do the work then why should people judge you but what went against me was because when I went there to because you had to do a day um they do all the paperwork and everything and he's um it triggered my CPSD off yeah and because the the bullying and the beatings I used to have in school and then that triggered me off but every time I tried to do the work I kept losing my mind because I kept triggering the back off yeah. so then I contacted him and said I, I want to leave then a couple of months ago I contacted him again and said I don't want to actually not do it is it possible that you could send me the work because you've got to do so many uh, units of now yeah i know you've done it yourself yeah and it's so hard i didn't know so many body parts in the whole body <laughs> and, and muscles I, and <laughs> bones and yeah, and wore everything it was so hard i so he sent me all the paperwork for me and he said so when i get to unit three then he will reinstate me back into the program yeah and then because i got 12 weeks then to do the last few units so he said it's basically up to me to do small bits at a time. Yeah. And then you reinstate me back in. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, step by step, that's the way to do it. Great. So after this morning and stuff like that and, and doing your fitness, what has been your personal journey with your weight since then? Well, my weights have gone up and down, at, but that also got to, uh, to do with my mental health. Like I said, my CPSD gets triggers, um, other things I've got going in my life. I'm a carer for my daughter, who's autistic, and my husband. So yeah. that's really stressful as well. So they've come before me in a long time, and I, I put myself last. And that doesn't do you very good when you're trying to eat healthy and trying to do this and that. Um, so, yeah, it goes up and it goes down. So, yeah, I like for three weeks, the first of February, for three weeks, I lost 12 pounds in three weeks. Great. Then I started my um, EMDR counselling. Yeah. For my part. And um, it went downhill from that. I went on binge eating for like two weeks. Yeah. Um, so it's like one of those is up is up and down. But oh, for February, I still maintain six pounds. Which so is good. I'm, I'm, happy. I'm still happy with that. I put some back on, but I still maintain six pounds. So March is a new day tomorrow and a new month. So that's my goal. One of the reasons I like you so much, Diane, is because I am in one of your Facebook groups. And I just love your honesty. So you will say how you had a good breakfast, how you had a good lunch, and then you will tell everyone how something set you off and you had a packet of biscuits and four bags of crisps. You know, you just tell the truth, which I think a lot of people relate with, because it's not just yourself that does this. A lot of people do that 
but just don't admit it to themselves. <laughs> Never mind admit it to their Facebook friends. So that, that, that has thrown me into a lot of trouble being that honest, but it gets me. I can't be anything else than me. And yeah. I can't expect other people to be honest if you can't yourself. I am a bit too honest. As you know, in some of my groups, I do like tell it as it completely is. Um, but that's just me. Now, the reason I'm so excited that you're on this course and excited to work with you is because I kind of I've been I know what you kind of eat generally. And I've seen a lot of your photos and stuff like that. And there's two things that I think that are really going to help you. And that's more protein and yeah. some good fats. And right. and I can see by the things you've been posting recently you kind of, you know about this protein thing, don't you? And how we do need to have more protein. And the other thing that I'm really excited about, you've been uh, posting a lot about veganism as well, haven't you, recently? Yeah, because I've been looking, I don't know, it's been coming up on my um, on my feeds. And I'm like, oh, that looks interesting because I am, I am working towards being a life coach. Yeah. I've been doing it the last eight months. And obviously, you've got to be aware of everybody's nutrients and what it is. And I've never really looked into vegan, but it's been coming in my post for some reason. Maybe I looked up once, <laughs> and then it comes into your post. And yeah. I'm like, mm, that's not interesting. So, yeah. So this is where vegan fats in particular, things like olive oil, uh, avocados, uh, the nuts and seeds I think you made a post didn't you about chia seeds and flax seeds yeah. stuff like this I so these, I'm all right these, those. these are what what's called unsaturated fat vegan fat and this is really healthy and these are those good fats that are going to make you feel good not only physically but also mentally um, so yeah. these good fats and this protein uh, is going to help you with your your mood and keep you in a good mood and also just keep you mentally strong because as you've said about you know you're having to support your family this is really going to help you with that so hopefully over the next coming weeks I can guide your meals into something that's really going to help you long term to take take control of your health yeah I also I I need to um the con I'm under a consultant because I've got a very large cysts in my ovaries yeah. and um, they're supposed to have been taken out about two years ago but because of the weight unless it's emergency and it, it like it turns inside my stomach he doesn't want to take the chance with my weight yeah um but he also made it away and I didn't want to listen to him um that I'm not allowed to eat white carbs starchy yeah. carbs I'm not allowed to eat anything made with white flour yeah. I'm not allowed to anything with over well, preferably over five percent, five grams of sugar and per hundred grams. So that knocks out your biscuits and stuff. I gave up chocolate a year and a half ago. So I don't eat any chocolate anyhow. Oh really? I was, I was a chocolate on the day I was born, I think. And yeah. um I gave it up a year and a half ago. So I've never had chocolate in then, but then I turned to sweets and biscuits and crisps to try and get the sweet flip yeah. but I decided yesterday actually that I am removing sweets from my thing and I know a lot of people say don't remove a certain food or a certain item but I'm one of these people I'm an all or nothing person yeah I can't have a bar of chocolate or a pack of the sweets and they turn into the foods that I binge eat that I can really damage myself yeah and I tried for the last eight months in having a little bit of sweets and it doesn't work out so I made the decision that I'm not going to die without sweets yes. um so it's plenty of other things I can eat and it makes it more calories for me because I really like nuts and seeds yeah. and stuff like that um so then it makes those calories for the things that are good for your body rather than all the junk that doesn't make you feel any good and it's again, it's just a, a mental switch. Instead of focusing what you can't have, just focusing on what you can have, which is going to nourish your body and help with your health issues as well. That's the other way to look at it. That's what I'm saying because the, the starchy food, I know I for about a month I actually followed the plan. 
Yeah. And I felt so amazing. My legs didn't feel inflamed, like because of the muscles and everything. And I felt lighter. My mindset got better. I didn't delete all carbs. I just turned them to oatmeal. And I did limit them, but I didn't yeah. delete them. Because obviously, I know you need carbs. Um, but I felt so much lighter. I lost more weight, but I felt healthier in myself. And also just with carbs, just remember things like potatoes and rice are quite natural, where things like pasta and bread have had a lot of processing and some added agents in them as well. So there's definitely yeah. some some carbs that are better than others. So it's just nice to remember that as well. So you are going to be tracking with with something called NutriCheck, isn't it? Yeah, because I have got my fitness pal, but I'm a very visual person. And I like the pictures on NutriTrek. When yeah. you barcode it, yeah, it's got an apple. And if you barcode like a chip, it'll show you a chip. And yeah. I think I'm more of a visual person. So yeah. and I've never I've tried to play a game with my NutriTrek to find it that it couldn't find the food that I'm looking for. Yeah. And I've been I've had it eight months and I haven't found anything yet. And okay. I've tried lots of weird food and they still find it. <laughs> Great. Well done. That's a good thing. That is a good thing that you can find all your food. So, yeah. So that's my number one tip for you is just to keep on tracking. Um, we have got a closed Facebook group. Um, so, again, feel free to post your meals, post the calories, post, share as much information as you like. And then obviously on our weekly one to ones, we'll just review it and, and uh, go from there. How many calories do you recommend that I use? I've done a, my TDE, but the calculators can be all different. What would you recommend? Um, it is quite difficult without, obviously, because we haven't spoke as in, I haven't worked out per your height, your height and your weight exactly what you should be having. But I don't think you need to reduce it massively. I would say between 2,000 and 1,500 calories. Well, I mine was on 1,860, I think. Um, but I recently added it to 2,100. Yeah. Because my gym that I join, they've got like the fancy machine and everything. And they said my BMR is 2,364. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking from that, that's me doing nothing as I know these things. Um, and the gym workouts I do, it's supposed to be about 2,900. It's supposed to be on. But yeah. obviously, I know you need to take a deficit then. So then I'm thinking to my, thank you. Sorry, my husband brought my protein shake in. Oh, um, thank you, husband, for the protein shake. <laughs> we love protein. Yeah, I, I have my protein in the night because I'm trying not to eat in the night. So then I have my protein shake. Yeah. Um, so that was good timing actually when you said I needed protein. <laughs> um, <laughs> but then so I'm thinking, I've been told about 2003, but that doesn't work for me losing weight. So I'm thinking 2001. Yes. So yeah, I would say that 2001, 2000, stay around there. Um, yeah. Because as, as you said, you, because of the extra exercise you're doing as well, it's going to take you well under therefore you definitely are going to lose weight so i'm thinking i'm doing that um have you got any suggestions i can do for my mindset my, that's what i'm working on this march is my biggest thing um is really just think about what you want to achieve over the next six weeks. Obviously, this is a six-week course, so it's slightly different to my one-to-one -one clients. Uh, yeah. but really focus on the next six weeks and don't look too far in advance. Some people find it easier just literally to think about day by day. So all their goal is for day number one is to write everything down and stay within their calories. So some people prefer that. Other people like to say, I want to lose X amount of pounds in the next six weeks. So it depends on your mindset, but just breaking down the weight loss into something manageable, something that doesn't scare you. Mine, mine is, a, I want to lose half a stone a month because 
anything over that is bonus. Like last time I lost nearly a stone in a month. But I think if I ate for half a stone, that works that I can keep it off. Because if you lose it too fast, you can put it back on as fast as you lose it. Yes, absolutely. And also, you haven't, not so much, you haven't got to make big changes that you're not going to keep for a lifetime. If you're going to put all these big changes for like six, eight weeks, and then go, oh, I can get my life back now, and then go back to your old routine. Yeah. Then you're not actually getting anywhere here. You? So the goal weight for the weight is half a stone. I mean, more things of, because if I, as my head is getting quite hit this and uh, the last two weeks with my EMDR and the strain of everything, I was just wondering, is it anything you recommend to keep my mindset in the right place? Not so. Okay. How is your sleep? Well, it at the moment absolutely rubbish. Um, but it was getting better. It was, I was getting a lot. Like I do get about eight hours sleep anyhow. But recently it's been broken up. Like an hour you then because I got sleep apnea. Yeah. yeah. I got a mask, and it's like an hour on the mask, then I'm waking up. Then I'm an hour on the mask, and then I'm waking up. I'm not getting actually proper sleep. That's because of the MDR and the night terrors that I can get when I get it triggered with my CPSD. So I'm getting at least five hours straight sleep, but sometimes I can get nine hours sort of coding. Yeah. But I so... do push for that. I do push for my sleep and I do try and listen to um, meditation sounds in the night to try and distract my um, my mindset, running away with all these things that is going to happen in the next day. So yeah. I try to listen to rainwater or the sea rushing in so that I'm listening to that rather than thinking about what I've done wrong in the day. Sometimes so, it works, sometimes it don't. Yeah. But definitely try to not sleep in the daytime. So by the time the sleep, evening comes... I can't comes, sleep in the day. Okay. I can't sleep in the day. That's good. And obviously, when you start to increase your protein and increase your good fats as well, you will find that you will start to sleep better naturally, just because your body is feeling more nourished and it wants to rest and recover itself. Um, so I would actually take a, a nutritional angle on this on improving your sleep, which will then improve your motivation and your health issues. How much protein do you recommend? On my NutriCheck app, it says 121, I think, grams. Yeah, I would recommend definitely having over 100 grams. My, some, I'm, majority of the time, I've built it up. I used to be about 60, 60 grams of protein. Now I'm around the 100. Sometimes I go over, um, yeah. but I try and reach 100. If I, I mean, even if I go whack in an extra protein shake, just yeah. to get the extra 20 grams. I, but just try not to to focus too much on the all the little things because when you try and look at too many factors that's when it gets a bit overwhelming as well so just trying to stick to your calories and have a little bit more protein and a little bit more good fat is probably the better way to start it uh, and if this time next week you've stuck to your calories and you haven't lost weight for instance then we can look a little bit deeper at things like how many grams of protein and stuff like that but initially just put all your power and all your energy on focusing on that, um, staying within the calories and obviously just trying to have the good foods, which is the protein and the, the good fats. Um, how do I do I take screenshots of my NutriCheck? How do I give you? Because I know I've watched um, one, the last six weeks and you was reading out the, uh, or the vet that week. Yes. And I'm like, how do I give you the... Sheet. Yeah, so this is the slight issue with NutriCheck is that I can't look at it like I can with my fitness pal. But you've exactly said exactly right. Every time you eat, have a meal, if you can take a photo of it and take a screenshot of NutriCheck and post that in the group, and then I'll just be able to review it from there. Or I can send you like the weekly things or ever. Um, I also use an app called Eight. I don't know if you've ever used of it. No. It's an app. It's a really, really good app, actually. It's an app that 
you take your photo of your food when you eat it, it, te- it, it registers the time of what you ate it. And okay. after you've eaten it, you've got to write how you felt. And if you've ate like the wrong food, why it made you feel that way. So yeah. it's actually controlling how you feel about food. But also at the end of it, you can take a screenshot of your daily food. Oh, so great. you see all the food. So then I could post that in the group so you could see like all the food. Yeah, that would be perfect. Whatever's easiest for you, as long as I kind of know what you've been eating throughout the day or throughout the week, then that's good for me. Yeah. Wonderful. Right, Diane. So that is it from me. Have you got any other questions? Right. Um, it just seems really strange just working together after all these years. <laughs> It's going to be great, Diana, and I'm going to bring you success. Whatever it takes, I'm going to make sure that you lose something and feel amazing in six weeks. So that's what I guarantee. Brilliant. Okay. I'll um, see you on your group and uh, talk to you next week. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Thank you, Diane. Bye. Bye.